How is it going everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Port Vale Youth Academy Legends career mode here on FIFA 19. But before we get into the highlights for February I have a couple of kit upgrades to show you from the previous three episodes. The first one being for Dylan Dylan, and it comes from Long Live Pat Back. Uh, he's gone for the red Adidas X boots which are there and uh, also he has gone for uh, tight long sleeves a green boxing tape on the left hand and the number 99 so Dylan Dylan is now well he looks like that um, pretty good he, he looks all right actually sometimes like Andrade he decides not to wear his long sleeves but hey it's uh, you know what they can wear what they want can't they and the second upgrade comes for Mehdi Abu Hamed and it's from Teddy he says uh, Adidas boots so I just went with the uh, I went with the Adidas Copa Tango 18.1 Energy Mode boots, so those ones. Um, he has gone for black gloves, long sleeves, and the squad number 27. So uh, I'm guessing England's a bit, just a bit too cold for him now, maybe. Um, but yeah, there is Mehdi Abu Hamed, the, the new look Mehdi Abu Hamed. Of course, if you want to leave kit upgrades, or player upgrades even, I keep calling them kit upgrades, player upgrades, then leave them in the comments down below. The spreadsheet will be in the description, and I'll also put a comment in saying what players have already been upgraded. But now guys, let's get into the highlights for the month of February. It is the month of February. We start off with the FA Cup replay against Wigan, which we win. So we are now through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. Uh, with last three rounds all being wins in replays, which is really, really frustrating. I'm sick of all the extra games. Anyway, first game to be played in this highlight reel um, up against Bradford at home, and Dylan Dylan gives us the lead in just the fourth minute with a header. A great header as well by the new Luke Dylan Dylan. Um, it was, if, well, easy cross in, easy goal really. Bradford though coming forward with Alex Jones forcing the save out of Fatunan. A pretty decent strike from Jones who is one of the top scorers in the league. But look at that, Andrade just runs through the entire defence and in the end it wasn't the greatest finish yet it's straight at the goalkeeper but luckily it was just too powerful for the goalkeeper for Bradford and Fasundo Andrade puts us 2-0 up. 40th minute now. Harris onto Inacio, we know he can hit them from that far out, and that one strikes the crossbar. Harris heads it down to Will Hill, Will Hill keeps the ball in possession for now, Nunes gives it out to Ratchet. Ratchet gets the cross in and Will Hill in the end heads over the bar. We go to the second half, 56 minute, Andrade pointing the ball over the top for Dylan Dylan, and that was a save from the goalkeeper. It was a great save. From the resulting corner though, Ratchet makes it 3-0. Ratchet, the tallest player on the pitch has given us a 3-0 lead at home to Bradford. Bradford were in the running for the playoffs, so definitely not an easy opponent. But that is how the game ends. A 2-1, sorry, 2-1? What the hell am I on about? A 3-0 win over Bradford City. A great result for us to keep us in the hunt for promotion. At the start of this episode, of course, we were quite a long way behind the 2 up in first and second we we're in third but now we go to the FA Cup the fifth round we've made it so far considering we're a league one side we're playing yet another championship team in Blackburn but Casey Palmer gives them the lead in the 16th minute with um, with a header he beat Ratchet to the ball Ratchet tried some sort of um, kick at least yeah it was Ratchet, yeah. And uh, they nearly score again through Palmer, but Atunan with a fantastic save, tipping it onto the crossbar. And uh, don't know why, but Adam Armstrong was big for that challenge. When it was really Hugh Harris who made the challenge. I had to put this in here just because I thought, well, what the hell went on here? Look at the challenge. In what way is that a yellow card for Armstrong? <laughs> That's me defending the opponent there. Anyway, Blackburn coming forward, 69th minute, Bradley Dak on the ball, through to Nuttall, and that would have made the game safe for Blackburn had he scored that. But we're still in with a chance here, Archie Bingham running down the wing, we really want him in the box, but it's a great cross from him, and Inacio on the volley, skim the top of the net. But that is it for our FA Cup journey this season. A 1-0 win for Blackburn sends them through to the quarterfinals and sends us packing all the way back to Bearslim with absolutely nothing and they're very happy about it that's for sure 
Uh, I mean, being a championship team in the semi-final, uh, sorry, in the quarter-finals of the FA Cup is a big achievement. Next game, 5-0 win over Notts County at home. Massive, massive result there for us. We go away to Burton and win. No, we don't win. We lose to Burton away. So after beating Notts County 5-0, we end up losing 2-1 to Burton. Typical FIFA in it, typical football. Anyway, next game that we play is away at Colchester. And Blondo takes a free kick out to Will Hill, who hits the post with his efforts. It was a very good free kick tactic there. He spotted Will Hill out in the open. Colchester coming forward though, and Wright gives them a 1-0 lead. And after remembering for a couple of seconds, this was one of the most epic games I've played, as Dylan Dylan gives us an instant reply. 1-1. What a brilliant goal. That was pretty much straight from kickoff. Not completely straight from kickoff, but almost straight from kickoff. It was a great goal from Dylan Dylan. We now go to the 18th minute, so not long after that. What a touch from Andrade, but unfortunately, the finish wasn't to match. That would have probably been the best goal I've ever scored in FIFA, just due to that touch. But in the 30th minute, Colchester strike again and go 2-1 up with Harry Pell's strike. I mean, what a goal that was. Fair play to him. What, it was a fantastic strike, curling back in towards the keeper, but we go straight back again, straight from the kickoff again. Hugh Harris getting the goal this time. It's 2-2 and we're only 33 minutes into the game. It's an absolute storming game. Dylan Dylan now, we're into the second half, gets the cross in, and Fasundo Andrade gives us the lead for the first time in this game. 3-2 we lead. Is that the end of the madness? Of course it isn't. Senior with a cross in, it hits Alexander's chest and onto the post. 79th minute now, Jackson through for McKeown. McKeown puts in Ratchic. Don't know what he was trying there, but it deflects straight to the Colchester man, who makes it 3-3. And that is the end of the madness. A 3-3 draw against Colchester. I haven't had a game in FIFA like that for a long time. And that's where this highlights reel end back to me. Here we are in March. It is a massive, massive month in our season. And I'll show you why in a minute. But first, monthly scouting updates. We've got Zhang Guan here. He looks okay. His overall's not going to be that great, but his potential is 76 to 94. The other ones are not that great. In Russia, we've got two players here, Emil Tokarev and Boris Privalov, both looking pretty decent. And Turkey has actually brought us back some decent players. We've got to here, Ersoy. I think that's how you say it. I just don't have a clue. Look at that. He's worth £475,000. Get him in. And Tosun Abchi who is worth 170, so not as much, but still that's kind of like 57, 58 rated area. Nice. Cristobal Cortez, I don't know if I mentioned that, but he's now the highest rated right winger at the club. <laughs> he's, he's, he is two ratings higher than Will Hill, who is currently our starting right winger. His potential is 92 to 94. Once he gets into the first team, he might be making a claim to play over Will Hill. That's just how good he is. Bang Wang is, is, I'm going to loan glitch Bang Wang. I want to use him, and with that potential, I'm, I'm obviously not going to, so I'm definitely going to loan glitch Bang Wang once I call him up. Here is Emil Tokarev, he's a centre attacking mid, 58 rated. Tahir Ersoy is 61 rated, 73 to 94 potential, but he's another right winger. Boris Privalov is a left midfielder, not the greatest overall, 55. Could still be decent, we'll check on that potential. Tosun Avci is another right midfielder. 74 to 94, so he'll stick around for now, but we'll see what comes of him. And finally, Zhang Guan, 51 overall, but that potential is pretty damn nice. And also, Arsene Golubev has turned into a what could be a beast, beast player. 60, he's now 63 overall. He's got a potential of 90 to 94. I'm glad I kept him around when just when sorting out the uh, youth academy. But now this is why our season is so big. At the moment, we're sitting in third place in League One, behind Charlton and Walsall, both who both have 72 points. We have 64. In the month of March, we play both Charlton and Walsall. Walsall away and Charlton at home. It is a massive, massive month. If we can win both of those games, we are in with a shout of automatic promotion. If we don't win, if we if we if we don't win either of those games, then it's playoffs for sure. 
uh, but it's a massive month. And we start off this massive month with a home game against Coventry. Can we get off to a decent start? Yes, we can. But Andrade's injured. That's a good start. Dylan Dylan and Blondo getting the goals, but Andrade picked up an injury. Let's hope it's not a serious one. Ah. He'll be back for the end of the season. But yeah, he's gonna be missing through this very important period. That is that that's a great start to this episode. And Charlton actually lost their game as well. Which means we're now just five points behind them. So if we beat them, we'll go to within two points of them. But unfortunately, it's Walsall that we play first. So uh, that hasn't set up too kindly for us. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So here we go. A big game against Walsall. That is the starting lineup that we'll take to the pitch. Since this new patch, I've lost every single game of career mode I've played. So that doesn't bode well for this episode. However, I have not played on this career mode yet. This is the best team I have in a career mode so far this year. And uh, I have not lost with them. I mean, sorry, I've not played with them yet since the patch. Here we go. Warsaw away, the league leaders. So it's the best attack against the best defence. Okay, this this will be interesting. Warsaw already coming forward. Devlin puts the ball into the... I'm sorry. Hatunin just, just was a statue. What What was he doing? He could have come and tried to collect that. But he just stood there and watched it go past him. I'm sorry, but I'm baffled right now. I didn't. I skipped the replay. I'm an idiot. Here's Harris. He's coming off. Hugh Harris is coming off of this pitch. I don't care what anyone says. And yes, there's now a new glitch. Where, ev where there are some players that now have plus one overall instead of minus one. I mean, that's great and everything, but... Because I know for a fact that in the menu before this, Hugh Harris was not 80 rated. And I have I know of this glitch as well, so... Anyway, Charles Richardson's coming on because Hugh Harris is having a shocker. Dobson into Park here and Hatuna makes a save. This feels like a patch that happened in FIFA 18. At least I think it was in FIFA 18. Suddenly all my players just could not pass the ball. Out of, out of anything. A new patch comes along and suddenly all my 70 plus rated players have turned into what they were at the start of this series. Get that cross in. Bingham! Oh! That's our first shot of the game. 79th minute. Just let me, let me, let me just say that again. 79th minute. That's our first shot of the game. And nearly a cracking goal from Archie Bingham. Actually, that was a great ball from Abu Hamed. Bingham's through. Bingham's through. Square it. It's gone behind him. No! No! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Will Hill only scores BS goals. It's not even Will Hill's goal. Will Hill only scores BS goals, doesn't he? It still took the shot despite me having tried to cancel the shot because it went behind him. And somehow it went in the net. It was a great save from the keeper initially. 1-1. One, one. Completely undeserved. <laughs> I mean, really, what is this? It went behind Will Hill. He still took the shot on. It hit the post. Hit the keeper. Oh, dearie me. That Can I just say that I pressed triangle for that as well. I didn't mean to press triangle. I, I mean, I pressed triangle for the pass from Bingham. Then how it went behind Will Hill completely baffles me even more. Shrewsbury away next game Wednesday, on a Wednesday night. Why are they all on Wednesdays all of a sudden? And we, at least we got the win. Bingham getting another goal and Craig Byrne with the second. Well, Byrne got the first, but you know what I mean. Anyway, 2-1 win over Shrewsbury. We, we've hopefully closed the gap. Hopefully, Walsall and Charlton both lost. They did. <laughs> um, Charlton drew. Oh, they both drew. They both drew. Right, okay. So we're back to within five again. So we're equal again now. We were what we were where we were. But now we play Charlton. And again, <sighs> better win. I think we're going to go back down to world class for this game. Don't be mad at me if I... Oh my God, look at all them. Look at all them. Oh, jeez. I have gone back down to world class for this game. I started on world class. 
and it was proving too it was proving a bit too difficult for me, so I bumped it up to legendary. And being on legendary is the reason where we are we are where we are. So, uh, but obviously legendary is not working at the moment. So let's try world class again. That's the team. Home against Charlton. We need to win. Let's go. Look at this run that Hugh Harris is making. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Oh, oh, Anasio on the edge of the area. Okay, okay then. We know Inacio can hit them from there. That one was special. That one was seriously special. And he's given us the leads after just two minutes. I hope this game is not too easy. Otherwise, I might have a difficulty issue here. I might have to go world class but have sliders. What a hit from Inacio. That's a great ball. Ratchet. It's Dylan Dylan on his weaker foot. What a finish! Oh my god! That was a... I love those goals where the keeper just doesn't move. I think that... Oh, mate. What a finish! On his weaker foot. I need to see this again. Takes what to... Oh! <laughs> I love that a lot. I need to see that. Oh, mate. Oh, it's beautiful. Right into the top peg. Peg? Is that what you call it? Top corner. 2-0. 14th goal for Dylan. Dylan, if any, if either of our strikers are going to get 20 goals this season, it's going to be him, considering Andrada's injury. Oh, dear. Alexander has left Grant in so much space. And Colin Grant gives Charlton a goal back. What on earth was Alexander doing? He... Last couple of episodes, Alexander has been absolutely woeful. He's the captain at the moment. Next season, if he carries on these performances, he won't be the captain. He won't even be starting. Will Hill's ball in. Oh, Blondo's at the front post. And we have a third. It's only the first half still. Here's Abu Hamed. Right, can he actually make the pass this time? Yes, he can. He's actually made a pass. Will Hill finds him again. <sighs> he actually went with his left foot. Him and Dylan, Dylan with the training drill. And every single shot, he went with his weaker right foot. That one, what a strike. I don't know if that was blocked or not. No. Let's see how this combination works up front. Dylan, Dylan and Archie Bingham on the pitch at the same time. Both decent goal scorers for us this season. While Dylan, Dylan's a joint top goal scorer. Let's see how it works out. Guillaume there with a the header. Close to Richardson. Nunez! Oh! <laughs> this is just one of those games where everything goes right for you. What a flipping strike. I, this game has been littered with amazing goals. And that's just another one. What a strike. At, regardless of difficulty, no goalkeeper is saving that shot from Nunez. Always rising. Absolutely no chance for the keeper. Dylan, Dylan. Good ball. Wilson's got there. Oh, he's still got he's still got it. Ball in. Bingham! There we go. Five. Five one. Nah, mate. <laughs> nah. Why does this kind of match have to coincide with moving the difficulty down? Why? We've not been dominating this match, I promise. But that was that was just that just that opportunity just presented itself. I mean look at the size of Bingham compared to those two defenders. <laughs> Bear in mind I, I played for I played on this difficulty for three entire seasons and struggled in League Two. Like it's not like um you know, it's not like it's easy it's not like I made it easier. Here's Wilson. No way. Is it going to be six? Oh my god. Charlton have switched off completely. And Dylan Dylan has his second of the game. 94th minute. Out of 93. Full time. Port Vale six. Charlton one. Third place six. Second place one. We are now only two points behind Charlton in the league table. We have a shot at automatic promotion, people. So this is the team that will go out against Southend 
We currently have seven players on international duty. And for Sundu Andrade out injured. So Archie Bingham and Michel Gallo will be the front two. I've dropped Abu Hamed just simply because he's been rubbish. Um, and uh, yeah, also Isaac Wyatt's playing instead of you and Alexander. Just because, again, Alexander's been rubbish. So I've dropped him. Let's do this game. Let, let's win. Anasio pouncing on the mistake there from Bomono. Here comes Bingham. He's got past him. Arch Bingham! Oh, oh, keeper saved that one. He did well there. He took the shot there, Bingham, and keep the keeper, Smith. Great save from him. Will Hill to whip it in. Ratchet! Harris, you're just too tall, mate. Lines. Drew Yearwoods forces Harris into the save. I'll tell you, Alfie Harris is a very good goalkeeper. He's very, very reliable. That's a great save. Southend providing a lot more of a challenge than Charlton ever did. Southend are currently providing a, a lot more of a challenge than Charlton ever did, and they've hit the post. Lines gets the ball back in, and Blondo gets it away. Gillespie into Grego Cox, and this time it is. Fully, fully cleared away by Guillaume. Ratchic. Bingham. Gallo. Hugh Harris is making a run. Hugh Harris, who is not very good at shooting, has actually pulled off a decent shot there. And the keeper's pulled off a decent save as well. Well under pressure from Drew Yearwood, but Harris, wow. Great strike. Could yet score from this corner. It's on the head of Ratchic again. And this time it was on the head of Harris. It comes to Isaac White. Why not have a go? And that was not far away. That's a nice ball from Harris. He's done much better in this game, Hugh Harris has. And that's a great ball as well from Bingham. Nunes not quite so well. Didn't do quite so well. But he's still got the cross in. And Michel Gallo gives us a 1-0 lead. That, that attacking move was not the greatest. A few lucky bounces. But in the end, Michel Gallo. I don't know how many times he scored for us before, if ever. But great, fit, great header from him. And uh, I don't know why, but Will Hill also went for a header. Bingham wins the header. Harvey Hall over the top for Wilson. Here we go. Counter-attack, maybe, to end the game off. Wilson's going to have to cut back onto his left. That's beautiful. Harvey Hall is wide, but it doesn't matter. 1-0 win. That was a much tougher game than the Charlton game, yet played on exactly the same difficulty. So, it's not the difficulty, okay? Charlton lost again. We're in second place. Where are Walsall? They drew. We're in second place. Come on! One more game in this month against QPR. And then we head into the final month of the season. Max Evans wants out. I'm calling him up instantly. Max Evans is a, is, looks like a fantastic prospect. Where you are. There you are. Potential of 82 to 88, he's 67 rated, the exact same rating as Isaac White. And those stats are just amazing. He's six foot two as well, I mean. He's getting promoted. Tomis Labuyevich also wants out of the Youth Academy, and once again, he is getting straight promoted. For the sole reason that Luca is flipping potential. It's 92 to 94. He he is a future prospect beyond words. The final game of this episode is a game at home against QPR. Wow. <laughs> oh no, Bingham's injured as well now. That's not good. But a 4-0 win. Don't forget, I said at the start of the season that QPR were going to be one of the best teams in this league. They have gone missing. 4-0. Well, I mean, we stay in second place. I mean, uh, we're only one point behind Walsall now. It's suddenly become a three-horse race for the title. Portsmouth have dropped off slightly. It's now a three-horse race for automatic promotion and the title. We, we've put ourselves in it here. This is brilliant. This, that sets us up for this final month, which is going to be absolutely amazing. Everyone wants out. Oh, God. Both of them say Dong Zhang Liao. I'm going to have to call up Cristobal Cortez. I didn't want to call up Cristobal Cortez, which is re really annoying. Right, I've saved it, and I'm now advancing to the next day. Let's hope that whoever w went, wanted to go hasn't gone. No one's left. Whew. 
But guys, it is finally time for Cristobal Cortez. 74 rated, 92 to 94 potential. He's worth 10 million pounds and he's in the youth academy. It's time for him to get called up. And he may just, well, he won't play ahead of Will Hill yet, but eventually he may. <laughs> just, what, I mean, have you seen his stats? What I'm praying for now is that Cortez does not have one star skills, not one star week four, and not low, low work rates. We don't want one star skills or two star. We want three star skills at the very least. Weak foot, winger, eh. I don't even know what foot he is. I didn't look. Moment's truth. No traits or specialties. I'm not looking. Oh my god. I mean, four star weak foot's okay, but one star skill. Oh dearie me. What is that? The work rates are fine, the weak foots are fine, but a winger needs skills, man. He won't even be able to do a roulette. I, can, I bet he can't even do step overs. But anyway, guys, that's going to end off this episode of the Port Vale Youth Academy Legends Screamer. This has felt like a mammoth episode, but you know what? That's fine. The next episode is going to be the running. Our first game's away at Portsmouth. I mean, that's a huge game in itself. <laughs> if we lose to Portsmouth, we're suddenly three points out. We're only three points ahead of them. And we could be out of the automatic promotion spots. Let's have a look who we've got really quick. Portsmouth, MK Dons, Wickham, Bolton, Luton, Fleetwoods, and that's it. Huge month. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are not subscribed yet, and if you want to see more of this series. And of course, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button and you will get a notification whenever I upload. Guys, until next time, peace.